Hey ET fam, today we're gonna be going through a special tennis specific workout just for you. It's gonna help you on the court. So make sure that you stay tuned for the entire thing. We're gonna be demonstrating the workout with our three pros, Megan and Ian and Kevin. They'll be showing you exactly what we're gonna do and the format of today's workout is a Tabata. It's a HIT workout, which is high intensity interval training. This is perfect for tennis because it mimics the points that we play in a match. It's high intensity for short intervals of time with a small rest so that when you're on the court, you can be exactly ready to go. So we're gonna be doing three different exercises, each for intervals of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, so you get that 10 second rest and you just repeat that cycle for four minutes until moving on to the next exercise. So in tennis, your legs and being strong and athletic is so important. We wanna be explosive. So we're going to demonstrate three versions of the squat. Megan is going to be doing an air squat where she gets down to parallel with the ground. So she's 90 degrees. Ian is going to be demonstrating what's called a jump squat. So he goes all the way down and then he comes up out of, up in the air. And then finally, Kevin's doing the hardest variation of the squat. Kevin's doing the squat a So he goes all the way down and then he tucks his knees all the way up. All right, nice demonstration. So I've got 20 seconds on the clock. Let's see it in the video. Uh, 20 seconds begins now. All right, so these guys stay on high intensity for the full 20 seconds before they get their rest. You can see that you can do this at any variation, no matter what your level is. And this is something that you can complete at home, on the go, in your garage, on court, wherever. All right, guys, stop. Nice job. Excellent. Good work, good work. All right. so. Let's go. So the next one, <laughs> I got you, Kevin. Okay, so the next one is going to be footwork drills. Footwork is so important for tennis. So we have to have fast feet. Megan, for our next 20 second round, is gonna be going with uh, straight across the line. You don't have to have a line. You don't have to be on a tennis court. You can use literally anything that would mark that. A piece of tape, use your imagination. Ian is going to be going from side to side. He crosses all the way over the line and it's gonna be super high intensity throughout the whole 20 seconds. Finally, Kevin is going to do the hardest uh, variation. Show him what you got. So he goes side, center, side, center. Can you do it a little slower so that they can see at home? Side, center, okay. side, center. <laughs> so as you can see, Kevin's really working to shift his hips and he's, he's really utilizing his obliques throughout this exercise. All right, thanks, Kevin. So, <laughs> so now we're going to demonstrate for 20 seconds on before they get their 10 second break. Ready? Clock on, go. Nice job, guys. It's so important to have fast feet on the court, fast reaction time, explosiveness on the first step. All of these things will help you be a better tennis player. And it only takes 20 minutes a day to get a good workout in. All right, that's it. Nice job, guys. Finally, it's crucial that you have a strong core in your tennis game. So if you see all of the pros on TV, the Australian Open, we recently saw Roger Federer, every, everyone playing in that tournament has a strong core. So now we're gonna get on the ground. We've got Megan completing a side plank because I'm pretty sure you guys know at home what a plank position already is. So Megan's opened up and she can alternate this throughout her rotation, but she's opened up to the ceiling. Next, Ian is going to be doing up down so he starts on his forearms and pushes up 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 down down nice ian so he's in a plank position too finally kevin's doing shoulder touches starting in a plank position where his body is flat he takes his hands and touches his shoulder so with all three of these exercises you can get a different variation depending on your skill level we are going to put 20 seconds on the clock Ready, pros? Ready. Go. All right, strong core. 
This is great for stabilizing as well as what Ian and uh, Kevin are doing. It's, it's increasing your arm strength as well. Only six, five more seconds left. You guys got it. Keep going and that's it. So if you're watching this at home, I hope that this has been super, super helpful for you. We want to make sure that you do each exercise for 20 seconds on with 10 seconds of rest and you rotate that four minutes through before moving to the next exercise. If you want this spelled out for you, like I know I need at home for my workouts, then make sure that you go to tennisfitnessplan.com. While you're at it, if this is helpful to you, like the video, send us a comment below, and subscribe to never miss a tennis lesson again. See you guys, thanks.